Good day, sir. Yeah, good day. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Sir, please, I have a question for you. Go ahead, please. As an academic juggernaut, what advice do you have for Nigeria in 2023? You see, as a monumental colossus and a broad Nagian egghead, let me verbalize and enunciate my undaunted apologia as we both nata and confabulate in this gravitas harangue or colloquy. <laughs> you see, for a long time, we've selected a poor choice of leaders and we need to make the right choice now. Uh, for donkey years, we've uh, selected a plethora of leaders that are filled with pocky pie and whopper pocky. No wonder you refer simple arithmetic in school. Leaders that have camouflaged and obscured the dinkum oil from the hoi polo in Nigeria and concealed it in an agbada of terminological inexactitude, he said to. Jesus! Uh, you see, I'm not a critic caster, neither am I an iconoclast, but only a ginormous gala or a cretin hokum would harumphingly disagree that these grudgy yo-yos and Nambi Pambi Snorli Gustas have not eclipsed the whole poloi in Nigeria in a state of horrendous ho ho and ho hum. <laughs> you see, it's like we are engulfed in a gabardine of hanky panky and a hokum gaga tuan gaga. Hi, bros. It's hard. At this juncture, we need to yeave ho and heave ho them exigently. Yeah, I got to. I got to. Oh, yeah? I got to. Right. So, my humble advice to Nigerians is that uh, this situation is like the famous expression, gigo, that is garbage in, garbage out. So if we elect in garbage, we should expect to get garbage for the next four to eight years. So as you vote, vote wisely. Thank you. Good day, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? Fine, thank you. So um, please, I have a question for you. Go ahead, please. Um, what is your opinion on full scarcity in Nigeria? You see, before I abscatulate, let me abruptly regurgitate my point of view vis-à-vis -vis fuel scarcity. Using my perspicacity and ratiocinations as a compost mentis homo sapiens and as an erudite and academic juggernaut, <coughs> let me delineate the nitty-gritty, the nuts and bolts, and the crinkum crankum of the status quo. Chama novice, now this will be the exam. You see, this is not me venting out my garrulity and loquacious monomania in this tête à tête. You see, I would never intentionally obfuscate, befuddle, becloud and bonfuzzle Nigerians in a fog and canopy of obnubilation and agobago malaki. <laughs> now, let me digress to the crux and focal point of this colloquy. It is dismally lugubrious and doloriously lacrimose that the premium motor spirit or if you have the proclivity and propensity to refer to it with the layman's nomenclature, which is fuel, is no more ubiquitous. Yes. And concomitant to that, the price keeps burgeoning and mushrooming as a corollary to the scarcity. Just, just, just relax. <laughs> now let me demystify and delineate as I pilot and paddle you through this expository legato peregrination of rebabative rigmaro. Is he why the craze? You see, the government have prefabricated, galvanized, and plummeted the economy into a gargantuan, cataclysmic hibernation. What is the meaning of this? Some monolence and discombobulated economic hamatan that has consequently culminated and cacatavated into a cantacrous and nefarious ruckus. If I decide to release this vertical one, the only way to vanquish this elephantine, gargantuan quandary is to deracinate and obliterate the malfeasant, shonky, and mendacious scully gusters and substitute them with dinkum compost mentis homo sapiens. Thank you. All the French, uh, Germany, Greek, and all these things that you speak, plus your exposure and educational background, I wonder why you have not made it in life. Good day, sir. Yeah, good day. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Sir, I have a question for you. Who do you think should be the next president of Nigeria? in the upcoming election in 2023? Well, first and foremost, let me vociferously and vehemently regurgitate and extensively vent out my calibrations, hypotheses, and adumbrations while I meticulously disembark my vox and rigorously conscientious opinion in this tete-a-tete. -tete. You see, it is sardonically lugubrious and egregiously abysmal that for a month of Sundays, and donkey years, 
the Wylom and Kwandam politicians that have previously inhabited the presidency seats in Nigeria have perfunctorily, advertently and inadvertently drove the economy of the country in a retrograde and drudging manner. Oh my God. It is a crummy and execrable modus vivendi and modus operandi of rulership without giving full attention or listening ear to the vox populi in Nigeria. You see, at this point, it's like we need divine intervention. Nigeria is not for you. Because we are dredged and submerged in the Nambi Pami prosopagnosia of rulership. And uh, the only way to vanquish this malignant eclipse and Pantagrelian Gagatuan quagmire is for you to go out and get your PVC to avoid further Ago Bago, Hocus Pocus, and Jigri Pokri. Thank you. You like what they call Quarantino Quarantina? <laughs> that is double quarantination. <coughs> quarantination, which is an extended value of quarantine plus nation equals quarantination. What is your take on ASU strike? You see, this strike. It's a gargantuan flux in our helipilification and it brings pain like pneumonotra microscopic silicovolcanoconiosis. As a compost mentis homo sapien and as a ratiocinative kahuna without any lacuna for mumbo jumbo gobble the gook or la di da, uh, let me emit and disembark some pedagogy while I strongly poo poo this prepense and finifuga asu strike. You see, as I confabulate my consensual kibits in this correro or colloquy, I want to beseech and supplicate that the government should kabash and kibosh this strike exigently. You see, because whenever I think about it, it disintegrates my hypothalamus and hippocampus because it is a hodgepodge of wishy-washy humdrum and dilly-dally taradido. We all know that both the government and ASU are pantagrelian kleptomaniacs and they just want to catching and touching spongulix and mazuma, but at this point, the politics is impolitic and mon para. So I urge the governments that in their next indefatigable indaba, they should come to good terms and make sure that there is no further hub hub, hulabalu, and ignominious imbroglio. Thank you. And I also want to urge you to make sure that you go out and get your PVC. What is your take on the current state of the economy? You see, as a racist native compost mentis egghead and a pedagogical apparagic, let me adumbrate and calibrate the homologous apoplectic epistorial right. Let me dish out the crinkum crankum and the nuts and bolts of the dinkum oil as I augur the status quo of the economic fiasco. You see, for a month of Sundays, things that we've overlooked for being too modicum bagatelle and tinsy winsy or itsy busy have turned out to be pantagrelian and brobding nagyan. Even the price of Gary has tremendously mushroomed and burgeoned in a ginormous skyrocketing manner. And this has caused an ad infinitum of homongous bugaboo and obstreperous boohoo. Do you understand? Uh, why these snorly gusters reside in hunky dory, tickety do, and splendiferous dandy edifice, the impecunious and mendicant hall polloi reside in ragtag slums and joggy joggy. <laughs> Not be juju be that. This is funny because the hoi polloi constantly scrounge and impetrate for a vest pocket of backsheesh from these wishy washy and dilly dally politicals, but they never get anything. At this point, I think we can all visualize and peruse the teke teke mene on the wall. You don't know, you don't know why it's going on. <laughs> so, by and large, the cause of this non plus quagmire and discombobulated quandary is the anachronistic and the anti dulivian modus operandi of the gerontocracy. Thank you. Good afternoon to you, sir. Yeah, good day. How are you doing today, sir? So, apparently, you came to buy fuel for yourself, and seeing how scarce fuel is in Nigeria today, what is your opinion on fuel scarcity? Thank you very much. Let me quickly digress, divergate, and swerve to the crux and focal point of this Correro and Viva Voce. Because looking at the ingredients, the nuts and bolts, the nitty gritties of the status quo, we can both agree with Chospa Aplomb that the situation is no more Viva Voom. You see, Nigeria and fuel scarcity is now Twiddle Dom and Twiddle D. For a month of Sundays now, the price of PMS, or if you have the predilection to refer to it using the name as Nom Diploma and Nomenclature, that is well, is no more ubiquitous, and the price keeps mushrooming, burgeoning, and skyrocketing to the crescendo and zenith. 
It causes an obstreperous boohoo and hogger moga. It's the earlier for almost two hours I was on the queue trying to procure a thimble amount of the PMS, even though it's at a very high rate. It, it drove me loco and gaga, poco a poco. And looking at the upheaval vagaries of the unbridled price of oil, it envelops you in a lugubrious trepidation and boogaboo. This is the quotient and outturn of the unwanted, unwanted decisions made by our political head honchos and gaffers. You see, fuel is exiguous and it is no more ubiquitous, and as a result, it is slowing down businesses, and hunger is now ulcerating the binge and tom of the wananchi. Sir, what do you mean by wananchi? Uh, wananchi simply means the hoi polois, that is the ragtag and the bobtails. Back to what I was uh, verbalizing. You see, fuel stations now are now chocker block like a Piccadilly circus. A liter of oil being sold at the rate between 400 and 500 of the Nigerian Naira. Uh, you see, it is no word zani, jolly, wacky or wacko. Rather, it is following woebegone and crestfallen gloom. And this is the fault of the wishy-washy and dilly-dally politicals. Another factor affecting it is the concatenating and co-joining of the scarcity of spondylix and wonga with the scarcity of PMS. You see, banks no longer have enough cash to dispense to the Koran populo. And uh, this is as a result of the cessation and kibosh of the old Naira notes and the emergence and emanation of the new Naira notes. It is really a worse time to be a Nigerian. So, sir, what is your advice to Nigerians? Uh, my advice is that the government should do something about it because it has gotten out of hand.